Another question that I get a lot has to do with how much do I include in my course? And I hear this over and over and over, like you're the expert, you know it all. So how in the world do you break it down into what should be in the course and what shouldn't be in the course? And so I, I like to think of this as, as sort of levels, right? What's the main problem that those people need solved? That's what you need to address in the course. And how many modules should that be? How many steps should that be? How many lessons should that be? It should be whatever is necessary to get them to that solution. And so if that's three, if it's five, if it's seven, we generally say try not to have more than five to seven modules just because that gets overwhelming for people and it may decrease your finish rate. But in terms of the steps, just make it as step-by-step -step as possible to get them to that one main result. All the extra things that you could add or that you could add onto it or the things that get them from that main solution to the next step, save that for the 102 class or uh, save that for private coaching, or save that for something else. Don't overwhelm them with too much information. You're the expert and you naturally and easily have at your fingertips all this expertise that you've collected, but it's, it's not helpful to the student to try to just flood them with all of that information. You need to be the one who can say, this is absolutely necessary to get that result. This is not so necessary, we'll leave that out for another time, right? or bring it into a Q&A if it, if it comes up or save it for that private coaching that comes after the course.